in this time and age where the postal sector is facing very, very, uh, a lot of competition from private players and from the development of ICTs, emerging technologies that are coming up. Um, I think one of the priorities uh, sectors is for the postal sector top is to remain relevant. How does it remain relevant? One, it needs to make sure that people realize that it's still alive. How? By providing service that are services that are people-centric and relevant to the uh, majority of our populations, especially in Africa. Um, there's a lot of unbanked people in Africa, and I think the vast postal network can be used, can be leveraged to bring that about. So that's one of the priority areas. Secondly, Africa has a problem with delivering uh, supplies in the medical sector to reach the people properly and make sure that uh, um, the delivery of those medicines to the people are such that they get there with uh, a lot of security and a lot of accuracy, especially medical tests from laboratories, uh, essential medicines to reach the people. There is a problem because of the cold chain supply. Now, I think the postal sector can leverage on that with uh, making sure that they, help, they work with the health sector to provide logistics and accurate delivery of things like that. Um, the other thing that I thought of was um, uh, in prioritizing the postal sector, uh, the postal uh, ecosystem and the postal operations. Just the building itself is a hub in most of these rural areas, especially in Africa. It's a hub for people to come and meet, for people to access digital services for government, and mostly for people to learn how to use the relevance, uh, how to use the internet. I can tell you the truth. Up to now, there are places in Africa where people have never actually interacted with the internet and don't know how to use it. And because it's out of their way, they don't see its relevance. But the postal sector is one of those that can help with, uh, one, uh, teaching people on emerging technologies that are coming up, two, uh, having, making sure that most people are computer literate and have basic skills. Once they have those basic skills, they'll be able to access insurance services which can be provided through the post. Uh, digital financial services which can be uh, e-learning, for example, doing research. The simple things that actually people in the West think that are just like breathing air are still quite um, not very uh, popular in African societies. But the postal network has that ability because it gets right into the rural places of Africa. I think that's, those are my priorities. Thank you.